Hello, and thank you for purchasing our mirror cell kit. This video will show you how to assemble your new mirror cell. It assumes that you have already used the kit's plans to fabricate the upper and lower plates of the mirror cell. Our kits come in several sizes, supporting mirrors from 4 inches up to 12 and a half inches in diameter. Each size is available in two configurations, one compatible with conical mirrors and the other designed to hold traditional or flat primary mirrors. Both kit configurations include the following pieces of hardware. Three large stainless steel knobs, three black rubber washers, three black plastic washers, three small stainless steel nuts, three small stainless steel washers, three quarter inch diameter threaded studs, three number 10 machine screws, three quarters of an inch long, six number 10 machine screws, one half inch long, three springs, three quarter inch diameter thumb screws with black plastic knobs, and three black anodized aluminum L brackets. If you ordered a kit configured for flat mirrors, it will include the following additional pieces of hardware that are not shipped with the conical kits. Three slotted stainless steel L brackets, three black anodized aluminum L brackets, several stick-on felt pads, six number 10 machine screws, three eighths of an inch long, three number 10 machine screws, one quarter of an inch long, three small stainless steel washers, and three stick-on cork pads. You will also need a 3 32nd of an inch Allen wrench and some thread locking glue such as Loctite. I recommend the gel Loctite because it gives you a little more time to position your pieces before the glue starts to set. Start by applying some thread locking glue to the end of a quarter inch thick threaded stud. Gently thread the end with glue applied into one of the three threaded holes in the upper plate. Turn the stud until it is flush with the other side of the plate. Repeat this process for the remaining two studs. Next, apply some glue to one of the black rubber washers. Just a few dots of glue is enough. Carefully slide the washer glued side down over one of the studs you inserted into the upper plate, so it rests on the upper plate. There is a small gap between the inner hole of the washer and the stud. Make sure the washer is not contacting the stud. It should be centered around the stud. Repeat this process for the remaining two black rubber washers. The upper plate should now look like this. Next we will assemble the mirror clips. You can skip past these steps if you ordered your mirror cell kit for a conical mirror. Remove the paper backing from one of the stick-on cork pads. Carefully apply it to the inside face of one of the narrow black anodized L brackets. It should be applied to the side with a single threaded hole, not the slotted side. Apply pressure to the cork pad so it sticks firmly. Repeat this process for the other two brackets and cork pads. Remove a stick-on felt pad from the paper backing and apply it to the inside face of the shortest leg of one of the slotted stainless steel L brackets. This pad will protect your mirror once it is installed. Repeat this process for the other two slotted stainless steel L brackets. Slide a stainless steel washer onto a one quarter inch long machine screw. Now insert the screw into the back side of one of the mirror clips. It should slide back and forth easily. With the screw threads protruding through the slot, Insert the screw into the backside of a narrow black anodized L bracket and finally screw it into the threaded hole securing the clip to the bracket.
The height of the mirror clip is not important at this stage, but a good starting position is flush with the bottom of the bracket. Repeat this process for the other two clips and brackets. Now it's time to attach the assembled mirror supports to the upper plate. Use the 3 8 inch long machine screws to do this. The assembled mirror support should be oriented as shown, with the slotted side mating to a pair of threaded holes near the edge of the plate. Use two machine screws per bracket. It may be helpful to have your mirror handy during this step, so you can adjust the brackets by sliding them in their slots to fit the mirror's exact outer diameter. Repeat this process for all three mirror supports. With the lower plate sitting upside down on the table in front of you, position the three springs over each of the rubber washers. Next, you need to determine the correct orientation of the upper plate by fitting it to the threaded studs. Really take your time with this step. It will only fit in the correct orientation, with the studs sliding through the unthreaded holes in the upper plate. The remaining three rubber washers must now be glued over the unthreaded holes on the side of the upper plate that contacts the springs. Slide a black plastic washer onto each stud where it protrudes through the upper plate. Thread each of the large stainless steel knobs onto the studs. These are the collimation knobs. Tighten them only enough to feel the resistance of the springs. Insert each of the black plastic thumb screws into the threaded holes next to each collimation knob. These are the locking knobs. The final step is to attach the mounting brackets. Using a pair of one half inch long machine screws, attach each of the wider black anodized brackets to a pair of threaded holes near the edge of the lower plate. Once the bracket is secured with both screws, slide a metal washer onto a 3 quarter inch long machine screw. Then insert it through the outside, unthreaded hole of the bracket. Add a metal nut for safekeeping until you are ready to mount the cell in your telescope tube. You can now adjust the spacing between the upper and lower plates by turning the collimation knobs. Make sure the locking knobs are backed out enough to not interfere with the movement of the plates. A good starting point is about three quarters of an inch spacing between the plates. This will give you plenty of collimation adjustment once your mirror is attached. Congratulations! you have completed the assembly of your kit. I hope this mirror cell exceeds your expectations and brings you many enjoyable hours under the stars.